up fools big t here with another video and you are looking at my favorite video game console of all time the nintendo 64 uh make sure you go back and check out my uh, video on that it's pretty old it's one of my earliest videos um but nintendo 64 if you didn't know is my favorite game console of all time and you know i know it had limitations you know it didn't have a huge variety of games um you know it was very expensive at the time you know some games uh after taxes was approaching 90 dollars um and you know just didn't have the variety especially of the playstation that came out at the time um and you know like uh i just love it because of uh you know it's innovative nature and everything about it uh, as far as that goes but go check that video out if you want to you know see what i say about the nintendo 64 and why i love it because uh it just hit at the right time for me as far as uh, me getting my first job and uh, being able to buy my own games and it was kind of when i became a gamer i've said that quite a few times i'm sure in other videos if you've been around a while so but this isn't really about the console as it as so much as about the controller and i don't know what it is that people you know certain people don't seem to like about the nintendo 64 controller obviously it's very different and strange in many ways um but you know i've seen youtubers that i watch uh like rgt85 uh sean long um i don't think he liked the n64 controller and you know, i've seen quite a few people talk about how they you know aren't huge fans of the nintendo 64 controller and i freaking love this thing um probably for uh, the same reasons that a lot of people don't. Now, obviously, I'm a huge Nintendo fan, so a lot of people will just chalk this up as, you know, me uh, uh, just being a Nintendo fan and, you know, having that bias. But, like I said, this is my favorite Nintendo console of all time and my favorite game console of all time. So, in order for that to happen, you have to like the controller. Um, you have to love the controller, I would think, for it to be your favorite console of all time. That's one of the big reasons you would love it. And uh, that's one of the big reasons I love it. Because I love this weird controller. And I just never understood, because people talk about, you know, you know, reasons they don't like the controller. And it's like, oh, it's so confusing. What is confusing about this? Um... I've always had kind of big hands or bigger hands. I don't know if my I would classify them as just outright big hands, but they're uh, bigger than average. And um, so maybe that's one of the reasons I always felt that this co controller was comfortable. And I, I understood it right away. I didn't have to look at the <laughs> instruction manual that came with it, uh, although it does and shows you how to hold it and stuff. I understood right away. It's like, if I'm gonna be playing a 2D type of game, I'm going to hold it this way and it feels really comfortable this way and you have access to all the buttons and uh, so I never understood that. And there's not a ton of games that you would uh, you uh, play the N64 this way, uh, side scrollers and whatnot, but there's a few. Um, one of my favorites being Mischief Makers and I uh, use the D-pad uh, to move because it's a 2D, uh, you know, 2D pseudo 3D game. Um, but so there's not a lot of games on it. There's not like 2D fighters all over the place. So most of the time, you would hold this bad boy like this, um, because most of the games on N64 that I love were 3D games. You know, 3D platformers like Super Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64, or uh, you know, first-person shooters or third-person shooters like Wind Back. Uh, I guess you can classify Jet Force Gemini as a third-person shooter as well. Um, but most of the time you're holding this like this and this feels comfortable like I don't know if it's just the fact that it's at an angle and people want to hold something straight on um, but this feels comfortable this fits this little you know um, uh, indent or what are you gonna call this uh, grip divot fits right into your you know the palm of your hands or not the palm but like right there at the curve of your your fingers or whatever and it fits perfectly in there. You have access here and you have your thumb right over the analog 
stick. And the bigger thing is that you have your finger there right on the trigger. So it fits perfectly. And your, these buttons here were mostly for camera and uh, or strafing um, and like GoldenEye, which I love. Um, Cause it, to me, this felt like using keyboard, uh, uh, you know, up, right, left and down to strafe. Cause you couldn't do that with the D-pad. You strafe with these uh, camera buttons and you look up and down with the up and down and it just felt right and you, or you know you would look up and down and all around with the uh or you'd move okay, i don't even know what's going on here can, there's different configurations that's why i'm confused on it for uh golden eye um but you know you'd look around using the analog stick you go forward and back with that and you'd look up and down and straight left and right with the c sticks or steve with c buttons and here are your action buttons A and B. They're nice and sized, and so is the big red start button. Um, and you had your shoulder button here, and the trigger button could also act as a shoulder button or your action button. So, you know, you had everything. It always felt really comfortable to me, and I loved the, like I said, innovative nature of it, uh, where it had the expansion slot where you'd put your uh, memory card. Let's get a better look at it here. You get your uh, what do you call it? Memory pack or controller pack. There it is. Um, and that would go in there. Uh, can't do this with. You know, let's get the focus back here. Get your uh, you know memory pack, and that would slide in there perfectly. And you could uh, take your saves uh, easily to a friend's house. And this is when. This it wasn't happening, and the PlayStation uh, had the memory card. And you could just take that, obviously, as well, if you want to take your character stats or your save states or whatever to a friend's house. Easily, you could do that. You could take your whole controller, obviously, and that's always an option. Um, but it had that, but it also had the Rumble Pack, which is one of my favorite things on the uh, N64. That this launched with one of my favorite games on the N64. And one of my favorite games of all time, uh, uh, Star Fox 64. It came in this awesome big box that I love. You, know, you can throw that in after you save uh, for certain games. So you could save and then you could take it out and put in your Rumble Pack. And uh, there was also, I mean, there was third party stuff, but there was also the Transfer Pack, which is something that I loved. Um, and this is perfect dark in there. And you can do stuff in Perfect Dark that would transfer from the main game to this uh, uh, Game Boy game, which is really cool. And it's really big because this has Rumble in it. If you put in a AAA battery, you had Rumble in your uh, in your system on your uh, game or Game Boy, which was pretty awesome. You know, it's like you can have that whole that same rumble feature that you were used to uh, on the N64 you had it in this bad boy and you could transfer uh, certain data from this to that and you could uh, mainly this was used transfer pack was used for uh, Pokemon put it in there and you could bring all your stats from your Pokemon uh, game and into Pokemon Stadium um, and you'd fight with all your stats and your built up uh, Pokemon characters on Pokemon Stadium for N64. So that was cool. So the controller was so innovative. Um, but I don't think people's problem with it was the innovation uh, as so much it was the just design and shape of it, which this controller was basically designed for Super Mario 64. And it's perfect for that, obviously. Um, and I think it's really good for a lot of other games. Um, the N64, for me anyway, was mostly about 3D platformers, racing games, and uh, uh, 3D platformers, racing games, and first-person shooters. And this controller is amazing for that stuff. So I never understood why people didn't like uh, the Nintendo 64 controller, because um, for me it was perfect for the library. Uh, that the N64 had so just wanted to throw that out there and um, yeah some of the sticks eventually wore out um, but this this is from my launch day 
N64. This is my launch day N64's uh, analog stick, and it's perfect. Uh, and I use this a lot. <laughs> Obviously, I use this a lot. I have other controllers that I bought later, but uh, this is the main controller that I had. And you know, I keep my stuff looking clean, so <laughs> I'm a little different than a lot of people. But um, uh, Mario parties and stuff like that could end up wearing out this controller. Um, I played Mario Party a little bit with this. I think I mostly use other controllers that the stick isn't as good, but it's still good. Like, this is snappy. So, um, yeah, I just never understood why people were confused by this controller. It feels comfortable as hell to me. Um, and it's one of the reasons why N64 is my favorite console of all time. So, yeah, let me know what you think. You guys have issues with this controller? I, I mean, I just love how unique it looks. Like, I'm all about, like, <laughs> you know, quirky, unique things. And this was the most unique controller, probably even to this day. Um, um, maybe outside of, like, the gamepad, which is very unique, having a huge screen on it. But this thing is just... It's so cool to look at. I always thought it looked like a like a Bowser paw, <laughs> one of Bowser's hands or whatever. Um, but it feels great. Like 2D gaming, you know, everything's you can feel. I think uh, Sean Long said something that he would play like <laughs> you know 3D uh, first-person shooters or whatever like this. It's like that is super uncomfortable. It just feels so much better. And your trigger's right there. It's like having a a gun almost. It, felt like it a little bit you know you had a gun trigger but yeah anyway let me know what you guys think uh you fans of the n64 and 64 controller if you're not fans let me know in the comments below thank you again always for watching and listening and i'll see you fools next time peace out oh yeah one more thing play nintendo fools do 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 do